Let's see Wild Guan for Chin Su Yi. Let's see what the vibe is saying here. Please, Chin, don't depress us. I beg of you, don't fucking depress us. Let's get your chat, the cat chat on screen. Let's put this video up on here. Camp, fish, and cook vlog. Sounds a little bit like, you know, sorry, no English, isn't it? No? Camp, fish, and cook vlog. Camp, fish, cook vlog. Can, 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 on lake, no? Sounds a little bit sorry, no English. Or am I, or am I being a bit weird there? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, let's continue. Let's watch the clip. That's right, ladies and gents. We're back here in Lake Achimla. We're not there yet, but we're heading there. We're about 20 minutes away. She breathed her spine straight again. 150 scoliosis patients would gather there at a time. When do you think the last time Brenda's listened to an audiobook? Do you think Brenda's ever listened to a fucking audiobook? When do you think that's happened? Has that ever happened? Do you think Brendan's ever sat and listened to an audiobook? Like an actual audiobook? While he's on the drive out. Maybe he's sat in his car listening and playing Taylor Swift instead. I'm not sure. But I wonder if that's actually a case. Has he actually ever listened to an audiobook? Yeah. Let's set up the tap. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to be probably camping on my own this September coming up when I go to the fucking Dre Molin festival that I'm probably going to go to in Tilburg out there in Netherlands. Um, it's my first time camping in a long, long time. I used to go to a lot of metal festivals, a lot of fucking techno festivals, indie festivals and shit, listen to music and go and camp. And sometimes you end up going on your own. But usually, because it's a festival, you bump into people straight away. Either at the campsite, they don't notice you're alone, or you just see people that are usually alone, kind of congregate in one section. Usually some festivals or some campsites have that, or they'll have like a solo traveler type of section where you can go and make friends and shit. And of course, it's a festival, just in terms of going to the certain stages, you end up bumping into people. So it's not that big of a deal. So I can't laugh super hard at the guy because I've done it myself. But there's something about the way Chin camps solo that just makes it look extra sad i don't know what it is i don't know whether it's because i'm projecting or because i feel bad for the guy because he's like in his 50s or late 40s or something you know clearly in need of a companion and he's out here doing this all by himself or because he just exudes sadness i don't know what it is but there's something about these type of videos from him that just make me want to give him a big hug <laughs> <laughs> you know that's basically it like you shouldn't be wasting your time busting your ass with brendan if he's not paying at least if brendan's paying you on time and paying you well it can maybe justify you you know working there and shit but if that's to be true what bj was saying and he's withholding payment because caa is not paying him and he's no money and blah 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 you're essentially wasting your life with this guy and then you're not able to kind of build up a good social you know friendship group for yourself or have a committed relationship because you're working too much i don't know what's happened and you're not really getting anything out of it it's a little bit sad you know what i mean this guy's having a knock-on effect on your social life and you're not actually even getting monetarily compensated for it to make it make sense it just feels a little bit out of order but hey maybe i'm projecting just gotta put the sticks down This right here is essentially a $363, $400 pillow. I'll explain to you next time. Looks like we're good to go. At least the tent, sleeping setup's all good. Now, we should be ready to rock and roll. Grab a drink, grab some food, do a little bit of work, and that's it. We are back, baby, we back. And if tomorrow goes the way it's been going for me lately, tomorrow would mark 
the seventh, sixth or seventh time I've been fixed. Why does it keep saying we, 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 when there's no one else there? Or is he expecting someone to come with him? I'm not too sure. What's happening here? Again, I haven't watched this yet. Is he going to... Is somebody coming to meet him later? Or is he just like trying to make it seem like because we're watching him, we're part of the we? <sighs> I don't know. Fishing and haven't caught anything. I'll be skunked. But we're going to go after him anyway. I'll see you on the boat tomorrow. And it's right behind my tent. And it's so loud. But I loves it. Of course, you remember the time when Chin said he thought he was white. He's more white because that's country music or something. With with an actual straight face, I think he said that, right? Some people think he's white because of his tattoos and the fact that he sings country music or something. It's like what was that guy on crack or something did he mistake you for a caucasian person okay now it's a little too loud so this is what i'm cooking for the first <laughs> dinner for one in it <laughs> You can't be posting this shit, man. Just enjoy yourself on your own and do it, but you can't be posting stuff like this. This looks so sad. It kind of reminds me of like, do you remember that kid? Do you guys remember that kid that went viral for camping by himself? And he said he's going to stay there for a prolonged period of time and he just went back home after like two days or something. Do you guys remember that? I think it was like a fat kid or something. And people raised money for him or something. He went viral like a couple of years ago, maybe during the pandemic. He went viral. I think he went camping and he went outside in his garden or something. And people kind of found it endearing and cute. But that kid was like 12 or some shit, right? Chin's like a grown ass man. And he's doing this shit. Like, what's going on here, man? What is this? Tonight, a steak, asparagus, shiitake mushroom, and a Bella mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 this guy will might even give up some 10 pussy <laughs> you give it up a chin yeah you'd give it all up a chin chin could turn you <laughs> oh, man this guy man this guy is too much and these vlogs are so painful, man. They fucking hurt my soul. It's like, bro, man. Oh. Anyway, come on, Exeter. Be strong. I did bring A1 sauce. I know a lot of haters will say, like, what are you doing with A1, A1 sauce? I don't care. I like it. Asparagus. We know, bro. You, you buy fucking boiled eggs from 7-Elevens in fucking South Korea while you're there. And you eat them in your fucking hotel room. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. This guy's a special type of dude. <sighs> Whole entire laptop out. Be like, this is the opposite of what camping should be, no? He's on the table here eating a steak with a massive fucking laptop light shining in his face. A power bank. Lecce, you know, hard drive. Four cameras. Four microphones. A drone. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably got a 3g dongle somewhere like yo man brought his entire studio out with him to camp <laughs> to get back in touch with the great outdoors wonderful last shot fucking hell that sounded hard didn't it that didn't sound like it was cooked at all. That sounded like fucking breadsticks. <laughs> that sounded like breadsticks, didn't it? No. I like it. Asparagus. <laughs> that thing is not cooked. That sounded like breadsticks. Yo. <laughs> It should be. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm pausing it way too much. When I clip this, people are going to be so angry. But if you're watching this after the fact when I've clipped this, please don't be upset. I'm sorry. I'm really am sorry. Wonderful. Last shot. This is a shiitake mushroom. I'm going to give it a little taste test right now. It tastes really good. But to me, it tastes like a regular mushroom, so I don't know the difference. All right, let's try this fire grilled. What do you think it was going to taste like, though? I don't understand that sentence. It tastes like regular mushrooms. What else is it meant to taste? Honestly, man, this guy is like legit a little bit like, you know, what's that thing on his head? He's got two lights. He's got that bright light next to him. Whatever light that's coming from the camera and another light on his head that he straps onto his head. How much shit did he, how much gear did he take with him to this fucking camping trip? What is that? Is that a light or is that a camera? It looks like a light to me. That little head strap shit he's got on. <sighs> Yo. Steak. Hold on, I didn't see a picture of that. Let's see a picture quickly. It came out medium rare, medium. Yeah, I'm sure it did, bruh. One eye is looking at me, one eye is looking at you. Your chin is a wild looking guy, isn't it? <laughs> He's an interesting looking dude, isn't it? Should we just leave it there? He's a very interesting looking dude. No cap, chin might be the ugliest South Korean guy I've seen in my entire life. Even when South Korean guys don't get work done, they're all kind of cute. Look at the footballers. All of them are probably good looking. The guys on Netflix probably got work done. But Chin might be the most ugliest South Korean I've ever seen in my entire life. It's absolutely insane. He might be a legit one. <laughs> a legit one. <laughs> like, fuck. Like, if Chin wasn't tall... Because he has a good physique, right? If Chin wasn't tall, he's like six foot something. He's in decent enough shape. He's not fat and shit. If he wasn't tall, he'd be fucked. Like if he was Joe Rogan's height. Imagine if he was 5'5 five five and he had that face. Oh, tough. Tough out of here for him. With that face and that personality being 5'5, five five, tough. But at least he's got the height and shit. Right, like <laughs> that accent that adds it to it, but yo, chin is fucking clapped. Like, no offense to the guy, we we all aren't born with fucking amazing chiseled faces and shit. I'm not, you know, I'm not fucking, I don't know, I'm no uh, Denzel Washington out here. I understand, but Jesus Christ, chin is ugly with a capital U. Like, you LG, you, uh, you ugly. And then lots of whatever that song is. Like, dude is fucking ugly. Legit. And he cooks like shit. Like, he's the weirdest South Korean ever. He cooks like shit, doesn't dance or, you know, can't sing well. You know, like. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> <laughs> have you watched that South Korean show on Netflix where they kind of compete it's like a CrossFit Games thing that show is fucking amazing there's some studs on that show some absolute studs some guys who legitimately you wouldn't want to leave in a closed room with your wife or your husband and shit like some absolute dime pieces South Korea is full of them and he you know holy shit holy shit can you imagine this being a date night can you imagine taking an la girl trying to invite an la girl out to go to camping with you on this campsite and you bringing her this crispy breadstick type asparagus the steak that looks like i don't know can you imagine trying to get a california girl to agree to this date <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. I, I'm, gonna, I'm pausing it too much. Sorry. Spurgers. <laughs> this is 
the most dent-headed shit I've seen in my life. I'm sorry. I'm not going to... I'm sorry I'm pausing it too much. Yo, do you see how redacted this guy looks? <laughs> Can you see what's happening here? <laughs> do you see this fucking halogen light that's strapped to the fucking... His head. This fucking... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking I'm gonna save the kids in a well fucking light he's got on just to fucking eat a couple of mushrooms and some asparagus and steak that he's got on a plate next to a massive light he has there he's got a lamp right next to him no isn't this a lamp or am I bugging isn't that thing right there a lamp and he's also got the light of the fucking laptop why does he need that <laughs> can somebody explain why he needs a headlamp when he's sitting right in front of it and he's got the light of the fucking lamp in front of him and the laptop light. Fucking hell, man. Do you think he's in his tent with that headlight on looking at his phone? <laughs> Not just using the phone light. He's actually... <laughs> oh, yo, this guy is... It's like, no, my mum said I've got to wear my helmet. This is that kind of stuff. No, my mum said I'm not allowed. I've got to wear my helmet. <laughs> My mum said I had to go get my knee pads and elbow pads. <laughs> my mum said I'm not allowed to go down there. <laughs> the food's right in front of him. I don't understand why he's got this massive full beam light on his head. Jesus Christ, bro. <clears throat> so I'm in the tent now. The lighting is going to be terrible. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm going to set my alarm clock for 6.30. So I can get the boat by 7. And by that time, I think I'd, I'd be able to get the boat that I want. It's a pontoon boat. P-21. And hopefully, wishfully, I'll catch a fish on that boat after trolling and do a catch and cook. That's the dream, that's the wish, that's the hope. So I'll see you guys then, good night. Well, he didn't bring enough steaks. He actually needs to catch something in order to eat. <laughs> the birds are so loud. But morning is here. Let's get some coffee, go to the marina, and then get a pontoon, and then go fishing and catch absolutely nothing. Just kidding, we'll see. It's actually a nice tent. As tent goes, and tent is actually nice. This right here is coffee that, it's the coffee that my aunt gave us, my Como gave us in Korea. It's called Edia, Edia, Venus. These are actually really good instant coffees. Hello, old friend. P-21, my favorite boat. But no one's here. I don't know where the dock hands went, but they said they're going to open back up at 8.30. Well, hopefully they don't charge me for this because it's another hour-ish. All right, we're getting out of here at the slowest of speeds. Well, you know what? You can't beat this. Other than the stupid vest you got to wear inside the marina, but once we're out, you can take it off. But you can't beat this, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, lovely view. Looks very peaceful and serene. But you just have to get cooler. You just have to figure out a way to just not come across like a giant fucking loser, man. This is like the most unappealing advertisement for Wish You Were Here, right? This doesn't give you any sort of Wish You Were Here vibes. If you want to be his friend 
or you want to give him some fucking ass, you want to give him some pussy, this is not going to really get you interested, really, is it? Like, you, like, you know what I mean? This is what you're missing out on. Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> like, you just got to get cooler. You got to figure out a way. Nice views, but this seems like a dreadful experience. Like, the chat, the lack of banter, the lack of anything, it's just mind blowing. I'll be going down there and trolling all along those banks, all the way down to here. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy! Please? Now that spot with the bushes over there, that looks fishy. Too far. Hooked up on a tree. Oh, on a tree. We got some of the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The chat. It's okay to touch kids. Say the same thing. Uh, what? Well, to touch <laughs> I would never chill on a body of warm water alone. <laughs> I know it went that way exactly. Solitude is nice, but not 100% of your free time. <laughs> it ponting yourself at 7 a.m. is a bit much. Yo, man. Oh. It's just like this every day. Every fucking day. It's no wonder he's so happy to see everybody in the studio. That might be his only legit time where he actually hangs out with other humans. It's mad, bro. And. <sighs> Like I said, it'll make more time. It'll make more sense if you just was paid more at firing a kid, and you could justify all this shit. But you don't even get paid enough. You're probably not getting even paid on time sometimes, and you're having to then sacrifice all your time, which is then resulting in you having to do this on the daily. God damn it! All right, before I head out to troll, let me show you what I'm working with my gear. I've got one of these sinkers that you tie to both ends, to the leader and to the main line, and it has swivels built into it. So it looks like a sliding sinker, but it's not. And there's like a, I'd say three foot leader to a Fire Tiger Rapala type thing. It's not a Rapala though, it's like a, it's an Amazon brand, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's a Fire Tiger pattern, the color. And this one is an actual flasher. This is more for, I don't know, like salmon fishing. But I use it here and it's been effective here for trout. So if there are trout biting still, I'm going to try this out. So this flasher just gets the attention of the fish. And then it goes down to another three foot leader. And I have a little needle fish, rainbow pattern. I got this tip from that hook to cook guy as well. All right, let's give it a shot. And don't laugh at me, but I actually bought a rear view mirror from Amazon that you can clip on. Because I can't see the poles behind me. I have to keep turning my head. So this <laughs> allows me to see my poles as I'm driving. Yeah. You can laugh at me or you can say genius. I see a little boil coming up. Or maybe I say get a friend so you can. Oh shoot, my lure is not working. Or it's a fish. I can't tell, damn it. All right, here's the situation so far. My lines got tangled up like crazy multiple times. Uh, my camera, this camera fell down when I was recording and that is not good. I have no idea if the footage I recorded before that, before it fell down, if it's still like, if it's still going to be there. Uh, this has been super frustrating. I'm in the middle of the lake right now, as you can see. Who would have guessed it? Trying to film a vlog with thousands of dollars worth of equipment and trying to fish at the same time in open sea is pretty hard. <laughs> you might need someone to hold your camera from time to time or to fish or to hold your light, or to whatever. Just some extra hands. <laughs> Guess what? A friend. <laughs> Even a dead body. Just to kind of prop up while it's in rigor mortis to hold your fucking camera like a fucking tripod. Something. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Being on your own in open water is actually quite difficult. <laughs> oh, this guy's fucking a legend. I'm gonna re-rig up all my stuff and uh, try again. Never give up. I'm gonna do one pass down this entire bank all the way to the marina, maybe even past the marina. The first one got flagged. The second one I was just uploading just to see if it made a difference. I uploaded literally the same video, right? 
And then the mm -hmm. third one, I uploaded it and I removed some, you know, vaccination talk because I thought that would be, you know, me and Georgie were talking about it, like that could be the reason why we're getting flagged. So, I guess. No way. No way. No way. He's on the phone to Bent Pixels on his free time. Is it during the weekend? So he works, what, seven days a week, six days a week for seven years straight. Only got seven days of vacation. Had to rush back home to record the shows and now he's fishing having a good time spending some quality alone time as per usual and he's now on the phone to bent pixels to sort out what copyright issues and to make sure the things get uploaded and he's probably not getting compensated enough god almighty mate see if it made a difference i uploaded literally the same video right and then the mm -hmm. third one, I uploaded it and I removed some, you know, vaccination talk because I thought that would be, you know, me and Georgie were talking about it, like that could be the reason why we we're getting flagged. So I definitely see that performing really well. Uh, we took like 11 minutes out of there and the watch time is super high on that. I have one different lure on right now for the second rod. I still have also, people like Ben Pixels make so much money for doing absolutely nothing. Some of these comedians want to be their own bosses. But they're too lazy to sit there and try and figure out why videos don't perform, why they do perform, um, to really analyze the analytics that you get inbuilt in YouTube Studio and shit that you can kind of use to kind of help you in terms of the content you put together. Maybe do some bit of researching on YouTube. Most of them don't want to do that. So they just go to Ben Pixel, who just sort it out for you. Chin, by the sounds of it, knows what he's doing anyway. He's taking out bits concerning COVID, taking out swear words and shit, and sorting it out. But they're still using bent pixels for what? For takedown notices, for copyright strikes. Like, what are they actually doing on the back end? Managing the YouTube studio app and stuff. It's quite bizarre. These companies make a lot of money from doing absolutely nothing. It's a bit of a hustle and a bit of a scam in that regard. Those companies that go out there and what? get deals for podcasts brands stuff for sponsorships and ads that these guys can do themselves and then they get a cut out of it strange very strange but again i blame the comedians because they all want to be independent and be their own boss but they don't really want to do the work they'd rather someone else do it for them and then they say under the guise of oh so we can focus on being funny but then again they're not funny so you get people taking more money out of your pocket and the time you have now free to get funny, you then use it to fucking message underhead girls. Weird, but hey, that's a tangent. I have the needlefish on one rod, but the second rod has a another crankbait that looks like a, that's a cool colored crankbait. It's kind of like Rapala-ish, but uh, I'll show you later. Let's, let's hope it doesn't get snagged and let's wish, knock on wood, if there's any wood in here. Oh yeah, there is. Now we actually catch a fish with that and I can show you the lure. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. If you ever get a chance to come out here in Lake Kachoma, it's in Santa Barbara. It's like it's incredibly beautiful. Like, look at this. This whole place is incredibly beautiful. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. It just looks, your vlog is just fucking boring. It looks fucking gorgeous. I'd fucking love it there. I'm sure most of us have a great time there. It looks very serene, very peaceful, but God almighty, you're making this mind bleedingly boring when it shouldn't be because it clearly looks like paradise in a way so even if you don't catch fish just going out on the lake checking out this area it's so worth it so give it a shot yeah it's been a tough day but uh you know what kimbap i got kimbap this makes everything better this particular kimbap is uh old dan keep up niggas always eating stuff on fucking packets and shit isn't it which is fish cake old thing is fish cake for korean and it has that artificial crab in there too which i like hakwan pickled radish really good as well all right this will be my absolute last attempt to troll and catch fish here. I'm gonna go through this whole entire bank towards the marina. I'm only gonna give it like 20 minutes though, so we'll see what happens. All right, this is my last attempt. I got a crankbait on in this one. I got the flasher and the needlefish on this one, on the right. 
Exactly. James Blake said here, I don't want to make fun of somebody for an innocent camping trip, but he exudes sadness. That's the thing. I don't even know what it is about this. It's sad because on the face of it, this is, looks really fun. It looks incredible that he's getting out of the fucking city. He's spending some time in nature, in a lake, in some sea, whatever this thing is, camping, eating, catching what he eats, catching something. No, catching it, eating what he catches, whatever maybe making some friends there's something about it that should be quite endearing quite inspiring but for some reason it just feels sad like why is that why does he just make us feel sad (laughs) and he's not trying to either it's not his fault we just all watch this and just feel sad and plenty of people camp alone i've camped alone i'm sure some of you have done it before or you've seen other people camp alone why is it why don't they look as sad as he looks i don't know Something about him just makes it feel like he's sad. Well, maybe he isn't. Bright side. Mr. Bright side. And there's my rear view mirror that I'm going to use to look at these freaking rods. Let's see. Definitely feel something. And I didn't give up. I don't feel any head shakes. Oh, I do feel head shakes now. Oh, yeah, baby. This is a fish. We got a fish, baby. What kind of fish? I don't know. Put this forward. What's that text they say? Driving the boat whilst landing the fish was quite the biatch. Who would have thought it, mate? Who would have thought driving a boat by yourself and also trying to fish and record content was quite difficult. Who would have thought that? That's why maybe having a companion would help. God almighty, brother. The fact that he's doing this is pretty fair. Well done to him, solid, but... All right. Not what I was going after, but I got one. Be super careful when you handle a fish with a lure that has treble hooks. Thanks, I guess. Jesus Christ, bro. That He's been in that boat like what? A couple of hours? It's a fucking mess already. There you go, largemouth bass. I would say that's about 12 inches or so. All right, I'm gonna cut the camera off. Never give up, kids. Got this. I'm gonna cut the camera off and murk this fish. <laughs> Bad boy off trolling with this little uh, Rapala type of crankbait. All right, catch and release. I'm gonna let him go right now. All right, let's go back to the campsite. Meet up with my boy, Jinzu. Look at this. Oh, so he's a friend is This coming. is Tangle too. He was just hanging out here. All right, we're done for the day. Heading back to the marina right now. Yep. Right. 21, P21 is kind of finicky, but it's still my favorite boat here. Okay. So this guy has seen Chin a few times, isn't it? He's probably looking at him thinking, fuck, you know. <laughs> Super jello. No evidence of release, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Catch and release, sure. You're good, you're good to hop out if you got it. Cool. Almost good to go. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man, have a good one. Yeah, thank you. All right, just returned the boat. It is hot as a mofo up in here. And uh, my buddy camps here right now. He's unpacking his stuff. Oh, hello, Zoo. How are you, Zoo? How's it going? Good, man. Well, so he does have a friend. He does have a friend. Okay, he does have a friend. Okay, let's see the second half of this vlog where he has like a human companion with him. 
And let's see if he ends up being catched and released. <laughs> <laughs> How was the lake? Beautiful, man? beautiful. Dude, the lake was amazing. Dude, I don't know. So my friend's so cheap, he got free wor uh, wood from work. What? I'm talking to the camera, bro. The chin grill is in action. Gonna throw some pandasada on us right now. Oh, jeez. Bark is easy. Oh, nice. oh my goodness. Oh, it's another person. The... Our camp neighbor Ed gave us some special wood to cook. So this camp neighbor was there before, but didn't want to be friendly with you know chin because he's on his own but then he saw him with another friend and then he wanted to join that's the benefit of having a friend because no one wants to be the second person because they're gonna you know you feel bad and you don't want to you know get fucking kidnapped but then when there's a fr already a friend there no one minds being the fucking third person you know so that makes a lot of sense wood what you want to do if you have a hatchet okay. split the wood right and make it thinner we're gonna try it tonight for sure. Yeah, whatever you. I think we're we're good with that. I, yeah. yeah. Hold it in my bicep. So. Oh, he looks so cute. We're with our neighbor Ed. Hey, what's up, bro? We're gonna meet his dog. One twelve. Yeah, a rescue dog. Who the fuck is Ed, man? What's fucking Ed doing in this fucking vlog now? You gonna go meet Ed's fucking decrepit dog? Like, what's going on here? Husky. I've had so many huskies growing up. Hi, buddy. I don't want to point the camera at him because it's going to be a little. Oh, <laughs> what's the other dog? Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh, ah! hey, it's okay. Hey. Come here. Oh, he's on. He's a Siberian. He's 112 pounds. So cute. There you go, sailors. And this. That's my son's dog, Sailor. Sailor. Hello. Hi, boys. Hi. You Hello. Know. Drink? Grab a cup. No, no, we're good. Thank you, though. You sure? Yeah, yeah. There's almond, which is for barbecue. Nah, we're good. It's just a one-night thing. But thank you for, uh, yeah, giving yeah, me. It's all good, bro. You know that, Appreciate man. that, man. It's all about family being up here, bro. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Uh, it's all about family. It says two guys were on their own. Oh no, he's got his son there, but Chin has, it's all about family. Yeah, dude. Bro, where's your family? <laughs> Yo, why are these guys eating like this? Why are they camping and eating like this? Please, someone tell me. Why are they eating like this? Why does it look so unappealing? They're out in the fucking, in, in the fucking wilderness. Nice, lovely, greenery, sun everywhere, open, barbecue stuff. Like, why does all the meat look so fucking sad <laughs> my bud my bud gets amazing carne sada from a spot near his place my bud <laughs> referring to you <laughs> when you refer to people like that you're not really they're not really your friends my bud my friend what my bud it's so good no joke it's so good okay we didn't find the guac for carne asada a carne asada yo man these what what what's the authenticity levels in the chat do you think of these fucking burritos or the tacos that they're trying to eat how authentic is this great is this like real mexican shit it looks really Mexican. It looks really authentic. What do you think about this? Chin's idea of what Mexican food looks like is really interesting, isn't it? It's very Instagram. For some reason, but I'm making some tacos right now. Tell me how the meat tastes. Fucking hell, man. This is like, this is like uni. This is like being in uni halls. This is like sharing a fucking horrible flat with 10 of your friends. You're all high, you all got the munchies, and then look at this shit. Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Didn't they have a grill? Why didn't they put these fucking tortillas on the grill quickly and just quickly toast them? Quickly flip them around. There's a didn't they have like a rack where they were barbecuing shit on? You could just quickly put those on there and just 
give them a little bit of a charring or something. This is just straight out of the fucking plastic that they've been stored in. This, and again, I'm no cook, but God almighty. It's cold, guys. It's so hot, and we're... <laughs> Dive right back into the fucking tent. The last thing you're meant to do if you're in the fucking hot place, you're in the got a tent, is not stay in the tent. You're meant to be as outdoors as you can. Find some shade or whatever it may be, but you shouldn't be back in the tent again. This is some... Yeah, rookie level shit. But hey, again, what do I know? We ate. Um, we're tired as can be, so so we're gonna try to take a nap now, and then I'll see you guys later. Is this boy next to him? Fuck it. <laughs> well, it's nine ish p.m. right now. Sorry, being on a campsite like that with other people next to you, because you can easily find a place more secluded, but being there next to people and then complaining that they're playing music is really idiotic, personally for me. Kind of the fun of being somewhere like that is that you get to kind of fuck around and play loud music. Our neighbors are playing some Transformers movie that's so loud. I don't know if I can make a YouTube video, but if I do, there's my potato right there, all the way in there in the very back. I'm gonna cook that up. I'm gonna cook up some meat later too, as well. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this an actual YouTube video. I just enjoy the night. We'll see. <laughs> now, is this piece of firewood on fire? Or is that just a reflection of what's inside there? What the heck? We're pretty done. So, see you tomorrow morning. I'm blasting jelly right now. Got a little campfire going on in the morning. So, this, this motherfucker brought a fucking headlamp a table lamp a laptop a phone for light so he could fucking eat his breadstick asparagus and steaks but there was no time to bring a bluetooth speaker all of that fucking equipment he brought with him he's got his little thing to heat up his little coffee and his water and shit all the fucking gopro straps and head equipment the fucking mirror he bought from amazon but no bluetooth speaker right Blasting jelly right now. Got a little campfire going on in the morning. Old baked potato there. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat, but we're gonna cook up some uh, Korean barbecue, some Japanese barbecue, some other stuff too. We're gonna light this up and have some breakfast. Korean barbecue, other barbecue meats, carne asada. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, we're gonna try to eat as much as we can. And if we can't finish it, or actually we're probably gonna share with our neighbors. I mean, that's my plan to share with the neighbors, but we'll see. So this is match light. And this this wood right here is this was given to us by our neighbor. He heard me and Cam talk about um, Japanese and Korean barbecue, so he was like, he brought this wood over. He said this is great for grilling meats like that. So add this to this. So we got it going. Hopefully this lasts. It should. It's match light. All right. So we moved the table into the shade, the shade here, and this is what it looks like so far. I took one of the pieces of wood out. Still have one piece in there, and mostly just charcoal. And we shall start grilling our cream barbecue and all the other barbecue we have. And carne asada. Hope the smoke is going all into my tent. But whatever. So I don't know if you guys care about this, but I have an angle cooler. This is pretty much a sort of like a backpack cooler. It's small, it does carry quite a bit of stuff in there and it does keep it cold. Gosh, the smoke is going on my face. So let me show you what we got. We got this, which is gonna be amazing. It's short rib sliced and look at the marbling. We got Korean barbecue. I slapped it into this uh, Ziploc bag. And this, you're gonna love this, Jinsu. Pork belly, this is gonna be great. I don't wanna waste these, we had these prepared, or not prepared. I bought these, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap them onto. All the meat looks fairly decent. It's just uh, his barbecuing skills seem a little bit off. But then again, as someone said here, Space Guy, why Korean barbecue at the lake? This is so off brand, I don't know. Why isn't he just cooking glizzies and fucking steaks and burgers and shit? Don't even need to cook steaks, just some burgers. Like, what is going on here? Why is he trying to take the 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 Korean barbecue to the fucking camping trip with him? It goes everywhere with him. But then his barbecuing skills aren't the greatest, so he's having to rely on the quality of the meat. But to get the most out of the meat, you also have to know how to use the fire or control the fire. This little sucker and we'll eat some of them at least maybe a couple there you go chin grill in action
And there's a name for this grill I'll give away later once I actually produce these. Here's one. Here's two. His bud's a bit camera shy, isn't it, right? He's bud. He's a bit camera shy. And these are Texas Smokehouse sausages. All right. Bam! This guy flipping them after like, what, 30 seconds? Nice. I thought it was cooking too slowly, but apparently it's cooking really nice. Hence the chin grill. You're gonna flip these? Yeah, that's perfect. And this is the spare ribs sliced up from the market. Here's a bite of the Korean barbecue. To be fair, by the eye, this stuff looks a lot better than what Chin was doing on his own. Chin's bud, whether he's holding his nuts or flipping the fucking meat, is, or flipping his meat, is clearly better at handling the fire than Chin. Because the meat comes out looking a lot better than beforehand. Because the other stuff that Chin cooked, that steak in particular, looked horrible. The asparagus sounded like fucking crackers. So clearly, you know, he's not the greatest at handling fire. But the other guy did a pretty decent job. Of course, it's amazing. Here's your bar the short rib. Same thing, basically, but just sliced a different way, I guess. Of course. Awesome, but the original cream spare rib barbecue was better. It has more like seasoning on it, more like which I hate to say like sugar on it so it tastes better but the other one's awesome too we're gonna dip it on we're gonna dip the other ones in this samjang all right looks like the wieners are done the sausages are done now I'll leave it hanging here for a little bit more longer I told my buddy he's cooking the mushrooms here as you can see right now the fluid builds up I said don't flip them over make sure the fluid builds up because you want to drink that fluid it's amazing Fluid sounds bad. The liquid that comes out of the mushrooms is really awesome, so you want to drink that. What, brother? Excuse me? So I'll get this one right here. It's super hot. What you want to do here is put the samjang, which is this, put a little bit of that inside. Oh, that's too much. A little bit, of, a little bit of that inside the uh, the mushroom, the, the liquid. And I'll show you now how amazing it is. Oh, yeah. It's hard to do this one. <laughs> He's brought up, he brought an entire SLR in a tripod to show us him drinking mushroom juice. <laughs> Thousands of dollars worth of equipment for him to show us drinking a shrinkled up mushroom drinking from a shrinkled up mushroom can you imagine this dude is fucking phenomenal man filming all right so mix around it's super hot there we are tastes awesome here we go This, this, <laughs> has anything that he's eaten that he has never liked? I don't think it has been, in it? This, this guy is the, yeah, you know I mean, like, I don't know. No comment. It's so good. Definitely try that. If you've never tried it before, try it. Now, the black pork belly. This is premium. It's more expensive. So we shall show you how this is cooked and eaten. Right, looking much. Yeah, his friend is definitely way better at controlling the grill than than Chin is. I think he's also acquiesced and given him the fucking lead. You know, he's letting the guy fucking cook for him and shit. So clearly he knows 
You know, that guy's come in, let his nuts hang, maybe let his nuts hang inside of Chin's mouth and said, hey, I'm the boss of the grill now, you know. I'm the grill captain. And then now he's left him to do so and, you know, the meats are coming out a lot better. Much better now. I... <laughs> the winners are done. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, this one. Hey, this meal. Let's do a Korean barbecue breakfast burrito. Kimchi. This is a straight up Korean barbecue breakfast burrito. Avocado. I'm gonna add a bunch of cheese, shredded cheese. Thank you. So hot. Let's dig. Pick up that Indian dude. Appreciate Shab for his MMA knowledge. I did not know Pontoha the flyweight champion knocked out Makachev the lightweight champion previously. <laughs> Thank you. That Indian did appreciate you. Thank you. Dig in. And this is something I always do. Like, I always take off the excess tortilla because I don't need the extra carbs, you know? I just need to wrap up whatever I want to eat and then go to town. So, here we go. There's a grill right there in front of them. Why don't they just take a couple of those tortillas and just lay them over the grill and just let them char a little bit, just to kind of give them a little bit of a crunch or crisp. Why are they just coming? I don't understand this. Can someone explain why they don't just throw those things on the grill that's already prepared and just quickly give it a little bit of a toasting? Something, some fire, some crispness. It's just coming straight out of saran wrap, plastic or whatever, and going straight into their mouth. It kind of takes away the bit of the flavor. It doesn't add to it, really, does it? Did you? Good shit, huh? Really good. I mean, you can't go wrong with Korean and Mexican ingredients. Done. See you guys next time. Yo, these guys had a blast in it, right? No? These guys had the fucking blast in it. Fucking hell. Turn down the music. Look up your daughters. Look up your wives, sisters, grandmoms. These guys are coming to, you know, coming to town. Pound town. Done. See you guys next time. Why didn't you put this fucking pan together? <laughs> Let's you go. have so much shit. After getting home and taking a quick nap. What is up, my friends? Just got back from, well, actually not just got back. Got back from camping, took a nap, and now I'm on my way to visit my buddy, Weesum Kish. He asked me to be a judge on a singing competition that he's doing for a show. So I was like, all right, cool, man. As long as I can make it in time, which I barely am able to make it in time. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I might record there a little bit. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Sometimes that helps, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The past guest on his show. What's that? With Sam's World. Who are these people? I don't know. Hey, where's my picture? I love seeing your, uh, your trip, by the way. You saw it? Oh, yeah. No way. It was awesome. It's mainly a radio show, IOB Radio, but they put it on YouTube as well. Oh, she's giving me a shot. What is that? Uh, oh, Kevin. <laughs> Mad Sweet. Mad's pouring me a shot. Is that a fake mustache or she actually got a mustache? What the fuck is going on there? <laughs> oh, is that like a troll? Is that like a hipster outfit that she's got on or something? God almighty, mate. I can take it so fast, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. All right, she's giving me a shot. Madge? I forgot. Mads. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking scaring away all the hoes. <laughs> all right, she's giving me a shot. Madge? 
Mads. Mads. Vag? You want me to suck your vag? Oh, mad. Sorry. <laughs> so that's he was. He's trying to smash the non-binary hoes. <laughs> Chin one so that non binary pussy that day them <laughs> he wants to be on that day them barbecue <laughs> that day them BBQ bro fucking hell oh <laughs> that polyamory <laughs> that poly life in it they all probably fuck each other in that studio right that poly life mate that San Fran poly life. That fucking dirty white people with dirty feet of life, you know what I mean? Hacky sack in the parking lot life. <laughs> that we're a family life, you know what I mean? That like we're a, we're actually a family. <laughs> oh shit. Man, Vag, he's like, is it Vag? Can I go down on your Vag? Oh, Mads, my bad. No problem. Right, she's giving me a shot. Madge? <laughs> Mads, Mads. Yeah, chin lips are always hungry. <laughs> Chin's always scooping something up with his mouth, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Barely cooked tortillas. Shots like oh god, come on! A little bit of game, like I don't know. Let's 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 toast or something, Vag. I mean, look her in the eye or something. Some something funny. Come on, man! Some game, bro. He's just staring at the camera like he. <laughs> it's like interact, <laughs> interact with a non-binary host, man. Come on, man. Fucking hell. Thank you, Vag. That's oops. He called her Vag, didn't it? He? he did actually call her Vag in the end. See, he's got pussy on the mind, bro. This guy's starving. Big up the Indian dude. No step co worker, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Look at this. Look, look. Big up the Indian dude. I appreciate the $2 super chat, brother. I think he called her Vag at the end. Mads, Mads. Thank you, Vag. See, he called her Vag. See, he's fucking starving. Thank you, Vag. That's oops. He called her Vag and then stumbled. He's so horny. <laughs> he's so fucking thirsty. It's been, it's been a long time. He's had a woman to touch. He got excited over the shot. Called her Vag and then stumbled before he got to the studio. Oh, nearly fed into this one's Vag. Fucking hell. I almost said Thunder. What's up? What's going on, homies? Bro, good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming in, man. For sure, man. How you guys doing? Hello. Yo. What is this lineup? We can't. I can't. I want to smile and laugh, but I can't right now. Because? Because we're playing the no laughing game, so oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We get, yeah, I do. Yeah, and uh... we're playing the no laughing game. These niggas are over twenty. We're playing the no laughing game. It's extremely talented, so I think you're the. Well, thank you, bro. Yeah, and um, we're just waiting on Jordan to tune it. Gosh, I can't hear. You keep talking. Dude. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. It's that fucking Dork Olympics, isn't it? Fuck in hell. Um, um. He knows how to. He knows how to tune. He's an actual guitar player. He's, uh, no joke, Chin. Yeah. He is super talented guitar player. Just the guitar playing part. Oh shit. What? He's really good at guitar playing. Yeah. All right, got it. He's definitely the guy that's bringing his guitar out in the hostel, isn't it? He's definitely the guy that's bringing his guitar out in the hostel and playing it, you know, without any provocation, without any encouragement and subjecting you to his fucking awful rendition of fucking, I don't know, or some journey song or some shit.
It's good enough for rock and roll, baby. So we can get down and we can win all the way you work it. No dip. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. Fuck that. I'm out. I'm out. No way. No way. No way. No way. No mass. I'm out. I'm fucking out. No fucking way am I listening to that. You're having a fucking laugh if you don't listen to that. No fucking way. I like the way you work. No, like, go and fuck yourself. Go and fuck yourself. I'm out. No way. No fucking way. No way. No way. I refuse. I refuse. My time isn't that valuable, but I'm not listening to that. Fuck off, mate. Fuck off. Anyway. If you want to check out more of Chin, you know his YouTube channel is. Check it out. If you want to be sad, if you want to be reminded about where you are in life, go check out his channel. You know where to see it. Um, but yeah, I can't. I can't do no more. No more. No mass. I refuse to hear this guy do a fucking horrible rendition of a legendary R&B record on his shitty guitar in a room full of dudes who are playing the no laughing game. I refuse.